Have you ever been between a rock and a hard place? How did you get out? Good morning, Zion, your family, and welcome to Faith Friday. My name is Liz Kanye, and I'm here with yet another faith story. Before I continue, I want you to pause and talk to your friend. You know that friend who is in a place where they're wondering, when will God come through? I want you to invite them to listen to this story, because today, the story I have, ah, is one of those. So, you know the story of um, Abraham? In Genesis 22, Abraham was going to sacrifice his son. The Lord had told him, bring Isaac and sacrifice him. So on their way, Isaac asked him, where is the lamb we're going to provide? And Abraham turned to him and said, the Lord will provide. Today, this is about the Lord's provision. So there's this couple. Things are so hard. They're between a rock and a hard place. Things are so bad. The wife doesn't have money, doesn't have a job. The man doesn't have money, doesn't have a job. They've been, they've, they're living in a rented house. They've not paid for so long. They have given excuses, excuses, until now they can tell the grace period is over. The landlord does not want to hear their stories anymore. So this couple, they went to the landlord and they said, the house is going to remain open. If you want to come in and take things, that's okay but please don't break the door. So the landlord gave them X number of days and told them by this day you should be out of my house. I don't even care about that money anymore. I want you guys out of my house. So they stayed. These guys are looking up to God. They are waiting for God. And so this friend of my friend prayed with them. And now they're waiting on the Lord. But thus far, he has not provided. So one time, this lady, on the last day, the day they were supposed to be out of the house, the last day they had been given to be in that house, she's in the supermarket, and she was looking so sad. And a strange woman just looked at her and asked her, why are you so low? At first, she tried to brush her off. But eventually, <coughs> sorry, eventually, she opened up to this lady, because this lady said, walk with me to my car. So she walked with her, and she told her that, their rent, they had not paid rent for many months, and today was their last day in that house. Then guess what? Hmm? If you doubt that there is a God in heaven, this strange woman tells this lady who is Bila Rent that I have a, rent, a house that I rent out. And the tenant I had has just handed me the keys today. They have moved out. So you can come into this house and you'll begin to pay rent when you're able to. This chick is like, what? That, brothers and sisters, is how they got a house. And guess what? It was in the leafy suburbs of Karen. And then the icing on this cake. This house is in its own compound, and it had a greenhouse. The husband loves farming. So, lo and behold, a greenhouse and a place for him to practice farming has been provided just like that. And then within no time, this lady gets a, a job. And now they're able to pay rent and live comfortably. That, brothers and sisters, is how God provided. That is how Jehovah Jireh showed up for this couple. I don't know what you are trusting the Lord for, especially in this season where things are thick. What are you trusting the Lord for? Jehovah Jireh is still in existence even today, and he can provide for you. If only you will believe. Have faith that what he has said will come to pass. I'd like to pray for us. Jehovah Jireh, we thank you because you are Jireh, and you are Jireh even to us. This morning we pray that you would, you who knows what is in our hearts, you who knows the things that we desire, the things that we need, Lord, we ask that you would provide for us because you are our God, because you are Jehovah Jireh. You have done it in the past, and we know that you will do it again. You're a God who does not lie, and you're a God who is able. So we bless you, and we give you glory through Christ our Lord. Amen.